Hey, it's Alex here from alexfingers.com and I'm back with another testing round for the Red Light Therapy Body Panel Showdown review. Uh, so like, if, well, if you haven't seen my introduction and part, round, part one, um, I run through the whole purpose of this uh, showdown review comparison process, uh, split this up into multiple parts. This is part two where we're going to look at the EMF levels of these devices. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen those other, other videos, be sure to head back and watch them because in part one, we covered pricing and shipping. A big, uh, a big component when it comes to buying a red light panel. So I've got the six panels behind me, Mito Red, uh, Red Therapy, Mito HQ, Platinum LED, Juve, and Red Light, Rise, red light Rising. Today, I use my Cornet Electrosmog meter. You can see the model number there, if that comes into focus. And I've got my ruler with my six inch measurements on here. And I am going to test all these devices. So um, a few quick things. I'm only testing for two metrics. This device testers, tests all three, uh, microwave, magnetic, and electric. However, there's no microwave reading at all coming from all of these units. I did a quick chest test before and um, yeah, they're all absolutely zero. So I'm not including that in the roundup because, I mean, they're all exactly the same. I am testing for magnetic and I am testing for electric. All electronic devices put out some magnetic field. It was very, very difficult to get absolutely zero uh, EMF exposure, especially when you're dealing with, you know, some of these units are five, six, seven hundred watts in terms of the power they're drawing. There's lots of fans, um, obviously the LEDs as well. So it's going to be very difficult to get non-existent levels. Um, but I'm measuring at six inches, okay? So uh, with EMF, if you don't know much about it, you know, distance is your friend. The further away you are, the, the less the exposure level. Um, six inches is typically the recommended, six to 12 inches is typically the recommended like safe zone or standing distance from these panels. You're not meant to go right up to them. I know some people do, but you're actually not meant to, especially because these units are quite powerful. So, um, you don't need to go right up to it. All right. So I'm testing all the measurements at six inches. Um, I'm testing for magnetic and electric fields. Uh, this device is like a $200 device. You might be thinking, oh, it's rubbish. How good is it? I had GeoVital come here to do a whole house test. Um, they had their five $10,000 gadgets with them, like crazy machines. And I was going around with this as well, and the numbers were very similar. In fact, the, the technician was quite surprised. He's like, man, the $200 unit is holding up against my $10,000 unit. I've also programmed this using the Building Biology Institute's uh, EMF safe levels. So on the side of this unit is a color code. Um, so green is safe levels, yellow is like cautious, you know, minimize exposure, red is avoid. Okay, like it's dangerous. The building biology levels are quite strict. Okay, so the default settings aren't as strict as that. But what I'm gonna be doing is sharing the actual number, the reading, and then also the color code band. So if you're not too technical and you don't know what these numbers mean, you'll see the color code band that is um, that these units are emitting. In terms of, it will show whether they're safe, cautious, or dangerous. Uh, all of this will be published over at alexvegas.com. Um, this video, I'm gonna show some details, but I mean, if you want the hard numbers, be sure to head over, to the, over there. Also subscribe, because I'm gonna be releasing more of these uh, testing roundups in the coming days and weeks. So, let's get into it. Oh, one last quick thing, I have, well, I have tested, yeah, without any of these panels on, I've tested the background levels, um, and there's no Wi-Fi in this home, our wiring's already been, uh, been the house wiring's been redone, so there's, it's really low level um, wiring in the house. There's no wires going through this wall, on the other side of this wall is a hallway, so there's no sockets here. Um, I'm running extension cables five meters away to power these units. When I test each unit, the others are completely off. All right, so there's no power, there's no interference going with them. There's no devices around. I don't have my aura ring on. I don't have a phone on me. The only thing I have is this. Um, the camera is a good two meters away and everything's turned off in terms of transmitters on that. So the background levels that I tested were, I've written down here, 
10 volts per meter for the electric field. Uh, so this was nothing on and that was rock bottom down the uh, bottom here in the green zone, which is great. And 0 0.3 milligas for the magnetic field. And that's bang on where I am right now. About six, seven, eight inches from these panels. That's with everything off, okay? So that just gives you a bit of context to see how much of a draw or increase these machines are going to emit when you see the numbers. All right, let's get into it. So again, six inches. Uh, yeah, the, this has three sensors on different sides, so I'll move it around to get the right area. Uh, I'm gonna take it in the middle of the panel. Um, everything else is off and uh, yeah. Okay, and we'll be back in a few moments with the numbers. All right, that's all done. So, got all the data here. Starting on my right with the Mito Red Mito Max. The reading there for the volts per meter, which is the um, electric field, was 12. Uh, which is pretty much non-existent. In fact, I mean, yeah, there was next to no change based on the 10 baseline. So that's green, which is great. Red therapy here, electric field, was 80, which was, which was a big jump up. Uh, and that puts you in the yellow, like, cautious sort of zone at 6 inches. So that's not ideal. Mito HQ, 10. Um, again, rock bottom, green, perfect. Platinum LED. Uh, Biomax 600, 10 as well, green, perfect. The Juve, Juve Solo, also 10, green. And then, lucky last, the Red Light Rising full stack was 12, so uh, also green. So all those numbers are awesome, except for the Red Therapy, Red Rush, which was up in the yellow zone. So, I mean, that's, the building biology recommends at that level, you want to minimize your exposure levels. Um, you know, uh, given you're using this for 10, 20 minutes a day, that's, that's getting concerning. If you drop back to say 12 inches, um, you know, that drops right down, so that is in the safe level there, but uh, you obviously lose a lot of power. Um, anyway, something to keep in mind. Everything else, because they were all pretty much bang on that 10, 11, 12 mark, uh, there was a little bit of fluctuation, you know, 10 to 11 and, and, and back down again. Um, I'm just going to award every panel except for Red Therapy first equal because they were all like the margin of error, you know, my movement and all that. I mean, 10, 11, 12, it's, it's perfect, right? There's no issue whatsoever there. Uh, so they're all going to get first equal and then the Red Therapy, since they're in the yellow, they're coming in last place at six. So all these panels, remember lower is better. Get one point, except for this one, which is going to get six, because it was lost. All right, and now the second test I did was the magnetic field, measured in milligauss, and this was at six inches as well. Background reading was 0 0.3. So, starting with motor read again, 1.8 milligauss, which was actually in the yellow range. So there's three... Uh, dots for yellow it was on the lower end of the yellow but still it was yellow so um, that's a shame uh, red therapy who had the the really bad electric field they came in at 1.2 milligauss which is also in the yellow so I think one and above is in the yellow so not ideal um, but it wasn't as high as um, the Mito Red. Mito HQ 1.5 milligauss also in the yellow so pretty much in between those two Platinum Biomax, who say, you know, they've got no EMF exposure and based on their magnetic uh, electric fields, so far that's ringing true. The level here was 0 0.7 milligauss, which is in the green, so that's great. Uh, sure, it's a little bit higher than the background, you know, level, um, but you're still in the green zone and you're, you're well and truly in the green zone. Remember, one and above is um, in the yellow, so... Great to see that. Um, I know a lot of people are fan of this unit. The very popular Juve. Now they came out at 0 0.6, which is actually a little bit less than the Platinum LED range, which was also in the green. And then finally, Red Light Rising full stack, which you can't see behind me, the big tall red one here. That was 2.0, so that was well and truly in the yellow range, um, which was actually the highest reading of them all. Now, remember, green is safe. 
yellow is, you know, be, be wary of it. To put things in perspective, when I sit at my computer and I have a printer and I have my iMac and the second screen and then something charging, um, my readings are around the 0 0.7, 0 0.8 mark. If I turn something on, it might spike up to 1, 1.1 1 .1 even. And I'm sitting there for many hours a day and I'm happy with that range, okay? You're only using these panels for 10, 20, 30 minutes a day, especially if you're at that six inches mark. So in fairness, I mean, even the yellow readings, you know, it's not critical. All right, if it was up in red, yeah, sure. I'd be like, hey, look, I don't recommend using that. Um, but some people are very, very paranoid about EMF. So I'm going to include the ratings um, because of all this. Uh, but you know, the whole idea with this is I'm going to come out with an overall winner based on these scores. But you might go back and say, look, price is the most important thing for me. I'm going to get the ones that's the cheapest or EMF is the most important thing for me. So again, head over to alexferris.com and you can get all these numbers and, and pick and choose yourself. But anyway, totaling up, totaling up the EMF scores and ranking them all out. In sixth place, we had, which is last, we had the red therapy, which came at nine points. Remember, lower is better. Uh, in fifth place, we had the red light rising. Minor red was in fourth. Mito HQ was third, Platinum LED Biomax 600 second, and the Juve, I forgot that right, yep, the Juve was in first place. They had the best scores for both the magnetic and the electric field. So, now that we have the EMS scores, let's add them to our pricing and shipping scores to get an updated total on who is leading this sh body panel showdown. So, in fifth equal, which is bottom of the table, we have two, two uh, products, Mito Red Therapy on 13 points and Mito HQ on 13 points. So that's fifth equal. Fourth place behind me, the Red Light Rising Stack on 12 points. Third place, the Juve Solo on 10 points. Second place, the Mito Red Mito Max on 9 points. And then jumping up from third place, the previous uh, report, we now have the Platinum Biomax 600 on 8 points in 1st place. So um, yeah, 1st, 2nd, 3rd for the Juve. So lots of change happening there because uh, Mito Red was winning after the price and shipping. Now they've dropped down to 2nd. Um, Platinum Biomax was in 3rd place, so they jumped up to 1st. To Juve, so, Juve Solo has made a big change. They were 5th and they're up to 3rd as well. So still very early days. We've got power, we've got flicker. We've got warranty support, lots of other metrics to test sound as well, that's another one. Anyway, be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be releasing more of these videos in the coming days and weeks. Uh, and depending on when you're watching them, maybe they're already out. So, um, leave a comment below if you've enjoyed this, if you have any questions. If you want to see the hard numbers, head over to alexfergus.com and I'll be publishing them all there. If you don't agree with something or I've done something wrong, please let me know. I hope I haven't. Um, overall though, with the EMF, Pretty much that all okay. Like I'd be happy using these a couple times a week at the six inch mark. The red therapy one, because of the high electric field, that is a little bit concerning, and maybe I would probably personally stand a little bit further back, you know, maybe the eight, 10, 12 inch mark, just to get out of that danger zone. But even though some of these other ones were in the yellow section, um, it's not, it's, it was low in the yellow section, and you're not using it for hours upon hours. And to be honest, um, unless you're doing everything perfect with your EMF, you know, you've got a dumb home and you're not using electronics and devices, a few minutes exposure from this sort of stuff is probably the least of your worries. Anyway, that's all for now. We're going to report back next with the power output levels, which is the big one, the big test. I'm looking forward to seeing the numbers there. All right, stay tuned.